ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Nerdy Quail. I attempted recording last night, and apparently my mic decided to not be recognized by OBS right when I started. And I didn't realize that. And that's the second time it's happened to me, so I'm not sure what's going on there. But I'm just going to kind of recap what I did last night. One, we started putting down the roof. Though, this whole area, I have no clue what to do with yet. Um, obviously, a door here and all that. And I know it's pretty dark. We're going to start putting some lights and stuff throughout. Um, I spent a lot of time trying to work on in here. Um, this is going to be the airlock. And currently... I have some stuff working. And it just doesn't quite work yet. But I have some additional ideas on it. One, I'm going to be removing these timer blocks and they'll be placed elsewhere. Um, or I need to hide them, which is probably more what it's going to be. I am going to replace where all these lights go. Also, we're going to have rotating light on the top here, and the green go light on the top there. And I think that's all we're going to have. Um, yeah. But... We got the oxygen tank built. We made this sealed. And all that. In addition to that, we finished building in here. Now, apparently, though, yeah, we need to finish these off for um, uranium to get delivered straight to it. All right, and I know it's been a minute, and I'll talk about you in a moment. But uh, we're going to quickly just grab some ice and uranium. I think we're a little low on both. Pick up some of these ice blocks. Inventory full. Just a re-up a little bit. The main thing now it is now the only way really way to get in there is through that or through there. So one way it's like yes it is working. I think I need to do it from out here. Yeah. Meteor storm inbound. Oh. Huh. It's not letting me select it. Weird. But I think I could probably do it from here. Inventory. We want the O2 generator. There we go. And I don't think I actually need to pick up uranium. I think I have a good chunk waiting. We're going to grab five. We're going to keep the 2.3 on standby. I'm going to run over here really quick. Pop that in there. Cool. All right. So this was the other thing I started last night. And that is, we're going to start building the construction ship. Mostly because we have a lot of steel plate to build. And all it currently is, is just the welder, conveyor, junction, and a cargo container. That's all it is currently. So... Uh, that's pretty much what we did last night, in addition to building all that. 
Um, so what we'll do is, let's see, we're just going to work on this mining ship, I think. Now let's still check what we got. Got a little variety of stuff. I'm going to grab a lot more steel plate to mess around with. Alright, so we are going to need to bring this out a little. Alright. Okay, so, because what we're going to need is we're going to need Bots for thrusters. So we're going to put on these standard ion thruster right there. Next, we're going to need batteries. So we're going to want full size battery. We're going to want the cockpit. And pretty much that's what we'll need. We are going to need gyro. And I think that's pretty much all we really need to have on this thing. So we got some sort of platform to start with. Um, so we're going to have enough room to stick things on the side here. Perfect. Now, I am thinking two thrusters everywhere. Two in the front, two in the back, two on each side, two on top and bottom. So, we start one there, one there. We know we're going to bring these up one. Same side as well. Okay, and then wait, center. Gun, 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 gun. We're gonna want two in the front. Let's stick right there. Right there. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Next, we're going to have two on the top here, one here and one there. Next, though, we're going to figure out where our cockpit is going to go. And I was thinking about here. It's gonna be really tall though. 
What if we... We go back... To hmm... Well, this part can get in. No. We'll see. We'll see. Because then it's we're going to have to cover everything. Alright. We'll have that there. Okay. Right, right, right. What we're going to do... Just going to connect that, that. That way we actually have this frame all the way built. Yeah, let's take care of that. All right. And as usual, we're going to tweak things up once we get there. But we're going to see if we can take that off. That off at least. That looks better. Alright, and then we're going to have a connector on the bottom there. So we're going to build a I think like a bottom facing um Or a connector, actually. Yeah, I was thinking of a conveyor. Yeah, so we have a junction, right? So we're going to build a conveyor um, connector on the bottom, because I think it would be neat to have a spot for it to land on and then connect. We'll see. If not, we can at least stick it on the back. Alright, so... Actually, thinking, no, we are not going to do this. Because. We need to extend it. Out. For the. Other stuff that we need. Now, it's not really going to be a Warcraft. Not a war based vehicle, so I'll not worry too much about exposed parts per se. Plus, I think having this as some kind of hood ornament looks kind of amusing. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to stash that there. And then. We're going to stack you here. Maybe not. Where should we stash this? I could probably do the top, just right there. To be honest, that's all I really need, though. So if I can... me. It's too bam, bam, bam. Alright, and then... Let's see.
You know, that's going to be in way of the view, I think. Yeah. Kind of big. <coughs> so, actually, let's just stick this in the back here. Yeah, let's do that. I'll we'll keep that there for now. Alright, so we have conveyor system. Let's just start welding some things together. And take that off. That off. off. And that off. And we'll just start welding some of these pieces together. I will take this. Alright, see what we got. Yeah, very blocky. So we'll be working on that though. But just thinking like basic framework. Yeah, and then we'll throw some stuff on that. That we'll need some power cells, construction components and all that. Let's just go grab a few things. we need sure we'll start with that just a lot of construction components yep Dump off all the stuff we don't need. Let's see, we're gonna need a bunch of that. I'll grab those. Yeah, we'll need a bunch of those.
those. I'll need one of those. Uh, as many of these as we can carry. Actually, we'll drop off. Yeah. Alright, so we got all those set up. That's set up. Which kind of looks kind of neat with that. that let's... There we go. Alright, alright. So, we got pretty much the bare minimum that we actually need for this to be operational. And we need 12 more power cells. It's a bunch of bulletproof glass. Got all the power cells that we need. Pretty much full anyway, so we'll just go ahead. Yep, operational. So we're gonna park it or turn her off. Four days worth of power. Okay, let's take a look. I actually kind of like how high up this is. It does feel like an actual, you know, um, construction equipment. Nice, nice. Okay. Next is we're going to figure out where to stick the up and the downs. We're just doing two in each direction, right? So one, two. So we got big side to sides, which is actually good. We want that. That way we can just go very well. Bam. Could do two there and two there. Yeah. But the main thing is still the whole up and down. So And then two in the back right there too. We'll see. I'm not sure how well that will work. It's not particularly balanced, but looks neat. Take about ten of those. Oh, we'll need we'll need you. Maybe you and some you. So, get the 
go. A little bit more integrated into it, I think. Yeah. We'll do something here to make it look better. What if we just do a simple... Construction components, but we can easily grab those. Add a little dynamicness to the look. All right, and let's just throw a bunch of those on. Probably need a gear for the landing gear. Right? Yeah, need a motor. Okay, and then let's take I thought I picked up the motor. Probably didn't. And we're actually gonna pick a bunch of them. Guess we're gonna work on that. There we go. Alright, uh it's the basics are done. Essentially. some um, stuff to do in the bottom there. Alright. So if we put bam Basically, throw that there. Inverted corner there. There we go. Oh, it's a heavy one. We don't want that. Inverted. You want the light armor. Looks a little better. A little bit of a better looking thing right there, and I think that looks fine. Energy low. Let's go take care of that. Make 
sure that's off. Alright, so we got all of that. And what we're going to do is enter, turn this thing on, parking release, and go up a bit, and turn it off. Let's see here. Let's get this off. Hopefully we have enough room. We do. I actually kind of like the look how that looks right there, to be honest. But it is really, really tall front. Alright. Connector. I know these stick out a little bit, but put that there. Small tubes and some computers. Let's see if that's enough. There we go. Bit of a neat little construction ship. Do you like it? That looks pretty good. Wonder if we can do another inverted corner right here. Much better, I think. Stick that one there. There we go. That looks good. That looks fine. We yeah, I think we'll just keep it like that to be honest. Now this is where this comes in. And now that's connected. And we're gonna stick it. Let's stick it right here. And we're gonna just get that open. This is just for designing. So I know where to plan and build. Alright, and let's get a connector set up in here. I wonder if that, yeah, that should work. My only worry is, is those are gonna damage steel block. But we'll see. 
and it's definitely not airtight. Let's do a junction. And then we're going to stick that on top. It's pretty big, but it'll work. A conveyor. We're going to do the same tubes that we've been using. Just get some interior plate really quick. And what else? What else? What else? Grab some motors. Don't know if I need any of those, but we'll see. No, I don't. Alright, we're gonna just place these down. Bam. What do we need? Unable to place conveyor to. Why not? place conveyor to. Ooh, why? One of these is probably on free. Oh, great. Um, oh, let's... Okay. Let's think. All right, we're going to get you there. Get the turn set up here. Come on. And you need to rotate. So weird. Get that junction in there. And then the connector. Filling any hydrogen. Is it used up all the ice I have somewhere? Probably to fill up all the oxygen tanks. Alright, well, come to that later. Alright. We'll start with getting that in there.
gonna run over here. Production. We need a bunch of those. While we're here. Snag them. Drop you off. There. Well, we're gonna need you. We need a lot more of you. Probably small tubes, I believe. Jar. There, and grab a bunch of those. It's going to take a lot of motors, more than I originally planned. Okay, we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so at least 60. Sixty-six, seventy. Twenty-four, six, seven. Should get us going there. And more construction components. Alright, so I'm just need some computer, some steel plate, it's a lot of small steel tubes. I'll need computers too, but I'm just gonna get this done. Pretty sure I have some somewhere. Or did I use them all? I might have used them all. So 
wait a moment. Let's see here. Turn that on. We did not complete the gyro. We need one seal tube and two motors. I might put a sorter in this, but we're going to see. It's very... See, this is only 9,600 kilos. Let's pop that on. And look, it works. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to give it a moment and check to see if the, if the battery is doing on this. If I can find my battery. Medium cargo container, too much inventory. Okay, good, good, good. That means we can land, connect, and fill her up, for example. Oh, interesting. Oh, let me. Huh. We'll look at everything in a bit. Alright, battery. When it is charging. Alright, so we're going to lift that charging. So this thing is now at the point where we can start using it to build. You know, it needs a little, a little coloring. Let's do the whole this thing. You need the yellow too. Let's go and do black for accents. Let's get that one. 
we did. Bam, bam. 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 There we go. That's pretty good. It's a nice little simple welding ship. A little tall. But it should get the work done. Oh, I'm just wondering why I can't bring and put in steel plate inventory. No, from there we can't, but let's say from the large cargo container, I grab you. No, it won't. That is very weird. So that should all be connected. Something to look into later, but at least it can, can connect, and it can at least power up. Alrighty. Well, this has been the Nerdy Quail. I hope you've enjoyed this fairly quick episode. I uh, just wanted to recap what I did, and then just finish this guy up. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And please be sure to check out my Facebook page and to check out my Twitch. Take care and have a good one.